That is why I'm asking for your vote, not just for me, but for this country that we believe in. We love America. We know where this country needs to go, and we're going to get it done. Traditionally, Latinos have been very divided in the way that they vote. But actually, since about 2004, the Latino vote seems to be becoming more and more homogeneously democratic. Democrats have always pursued a strategy of seeing Latinos as one group, whereas Republicans have always been more interested in seeing Latinos as a variety of different groups from different places of origin. Since George W. Bush left office, the Republicans have taken an increasingly hard line on illegal immigration. So this has become a really key issue. But to Latinos as a whole, the same things matter to them as matter to the rest of the population, and that is jobs and the economy. Well, the Latino population increased by 43% between 2000 and 2010. And because Latinos are certainly not rusted on to the Democratic Party, they are aware of the fact that they're an important swing constituency. However, it is still a fairly low turnout community. And if there's going to be anything that prevents parties from actually reaching out to Latinos, it's the perception that if Latino turnout is low enough, they're not going to matter as a group. Survey research shows that Americans as a whole are still a little bit more averse to Latinos than they are to African Americans. On the Republican side, Susana Martinez was seriously being considered as a vice presidential candidate. And so there are some people waiting in the wings, but I think it's going to be a little while longer before we see a Latino president.